Hello, uh, I would like to introduce you to the flattened uh, plugin. Uh, I've been um, interested in writing plugins for SketchUp, and uh, this flattened plugin is actually the first one that uh, I've ever written. And uh, I've cleaned it up so that uh, I can release it. And um, the main thing that it can do is for the people who are drawing the, um, the flat, foamy airplanes and they're having trouble with um, getting faces. Um, if, if the problem with the faces is that the, um, the part is not, is not perfectly flat, then, then the flatten will take care of that. Also, it will automate uh, the, the job of, of, of making faces. And most people would be familiar. Um, what we used to use was one called Flatten to, to, to 2D, which is a paid uh, plugin, which um, which which only flattened it didn't uh, do anything about the if anything it actually uh, removed your faces um, the flatten plugin will actually um, preserve if you have a face on it it will preserve that face and if it doesn't have a face on it it will generate an, uh, a new face um, so you could uh, I'll show you later of how you can you can uh, do a, a big drawing uh, with this. Um, uh, these are some of my other plugins. If you um, uh, this broken li broken lines is not one of mine, but th what this does is uh, repairs uh, collinear uh, line. If you have a big straight line, if if, if there are many pieces, it, what it do is just weld it into one piece. And uh, this this plugin that I did uh, basically combines that and flattens at the same time. Uh, Reorder groups is another plugin that this one has been released. This one has been uh, Released uh, reorder groups, and that's basically uh, uh, well, you don't have to be concerned. It's it's, it's for people who use a flat script. Um, key rotate and push pull group. That one uh, also have been uh, released in beta form. Um, you can um, I have another YouTube video uh, showing those in action, and of um, it can if you're doing like 2D um, flat uh, flat foamies, these two plugins will also will save you a lot of time. Um, okay, so let me show you what uh, Flatten does. Flatten basically, I've got a part here, um, and basically, if you select it, it just projects it down. You'll see the projection is, is straight down like this, so so it'll project it into a part like this. Uh, so let me have a demo of it and um, flatten it. You can see it projects it down. Now this is an example of what you don't want to do. Um, you don't want to, because it'll distort the part. Okay, you want a part that's already horizontal and it's already flat. It's basically, a part that's just slightly off. Um, okay, let me get a new. Um, I'll demonstrate that. Okay, so I'll draw a part. Okay, I'll also show you now of how it can make flatten it. Um, I've set my shortcut to control F so basically you see it regenerates the face and that's that's the from flatten it does that automatically. Um, okay so what I'll do is I'll lift this corner here. Okay I'll lift it I'll lift it point uh, oh one inches. Okay. Now, if you look at this from the front, you can see that it's off. But in a regular drawing, you wouldn't see it because because it's it's so little. Now, okay. Now I'm going to flatten it. Okay, it makes a face, and you can also see it's perfectly flat now. Okay, so that's basically um, um, what it does. Now, um, the plugin we Okay, there's there's two ways that you can um, you can make a face. You can um, uh, SketchUp has has this 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 one here, which you have to turn on. You have to go into uh, extensions and turn on utilities. Then this one will create a face. But this one's kind of limited because you have to select the um, the perimeter and everything. Well, I'll show you how that that one works. Okay, you just you select the perimeter and um, it just it tools okay and it also will create a face for you um, but it's got to be perfect it won't like fix anything for you 
Okay, uh, the other one is is a free plugin called Make Faces. Okay, um, this one you can download for free, and this is the one I used to use. And to give you an example, I did a a YouTube video uh, like two days ago, and I'll I'll play part of it for you, and you'll see how long it takes. Um, okay, let's get this running and. Um, Okay, uh, this is actually the video that demonstrates my other plugins. It's on YouTube if you guys want to see it. But uh, at about okay, at about here you see I go down and I use this plugin for this for this whole uh, bunch of parts. And um, the time is is about 50 minutes. But I'll fast forward to uh, to about two minutes. Okay, okay, so so from 50 seconds to two minutes, it's like two and a half minutes, okay? I I went in, uh, that's one minute, 32 seconds, okay? Um, okay, let's get rid of this and bring back up SketchUp, and I will bring back that file. Okay, this is the, this is the, D, the DXF file that was imported. And I will flatten this using 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 flatten, okay. And I calculated it took it will take about 16 seconds. You can verify on uh, on the video yourself how long it, it actually takes, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so you can verify on the video. Um, I've timed it from uh, one time it was 16 seconds, one time it was 19 seconds. I'm not sure what the difference is, but uh, basically um, 16 seconds. So f uh, f four, so six times faster than than the old plugin that I, that I was using. Um, okay, that that's it for the, for the use of the flattened plugin. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.